let's look at this exponential function. y equals 3 to the x. This part down here is called the base of the exponential function. And what I'm going to do is, once again, I'm going to plot points and see what happens. So 3 to the 1 power is 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 to the 3rd is 27. 3 to the 4th is 81. So as x increments by 1, this function is multiplied by 3. So it triples every time we increment by 1. Going the opposite way, you divide by 3. 81 divided by 3 is 27. Divide by 3 is 9. Divide by 3 is 3. Divide by 3 again, you're going to get at 0. 3 to the 0 is equal to 1. Divide by 3 again, 3 to the minus 1 is 1 over 3. 3 to the minus 2 is 1 over 3 squared, and that's 1 ninth. So as we go the opposite way, we, I mean, what I mean is as, we, as x decreases, we divide y by 3. And again, 3 to the 0 is 1. doesn't matter what the base is. Whatever power to the, whatever number to 0 power is 1. The only thing is you can't have a 0. 0 to the 0 power is undefined. But any other number beyond, besides 0, if you raise it, you get 1. But in general, like always, we want this base to be positive. Um, we don't want it to be negative because, uh, for example, there is in between here, say, 1 half, and you have 3 to the 1 half power, which is the square root of 3. And so we don't want to put in a negative number because we don't want to take the square root of, of, of negative 3. It's not a real number. So, so we always want the base um, to be positive. Okay, and so, um, here I'm doing increments of 3 there, so I start off with, um, let's label this x and y. So, we start off with, uh, at 0, we have 1, a 1, 3, a 2, 9. So we can see this thing really grows very quickly. So exponential growth is an expression that you hear people use, and um, it's sort of a shorthand for saying that the graph grows really quickly. But it actually has a technical meaning, which is that um, it, as, as x increases, y is multiplied by a certain number. In this case, as x increases, y is multiplied by 1. All right, so I'm just trying to do this a little bit precisely, but maybe I'll be off the graph. Let's see, this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 112, 112, 112, and, um, but the, the general shape is the same. We have 0, 1 is the y-intercept. And um, that's always a, uh, a feature of an exponential fun function. The domain r, the uh, range is all y such that y is greater than 0, and um, the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis, and it's increasing as x goes to negative infinity, y approaches 0, as x approaches infinity, infinity is not a number, but as x goes to infinity, we might say, y goes to infinity. So we see that from the graph. Okay, hold on. Try to zoom out and get everything I can. Okay. 
So that is all.